Three, two, one, and we're broadcasting. Okay. Hello there. Mr. Brooks here. I'm here to show everyone how to take just a regular image and project that onto your 3D model using the Substance Painter. So we've got a, a new layer. I've got a model loaded into here, and we've imported our image into the project just by going to File and Import Image into Project and then finding that image and hitting Open. I've already done that, so mine is right here. So here's the important part. Normally you use this uh, simple paintbrush to paint on your object, right? With a normal paint layer. But to get an image projected onto your object, you need to switch over to this tool right here, which is called Projection. And you'll see it instantly kind of give a gray cast to your model. And then what you want to do is just drag the image you've brought in over into your material slot for your brush settings, okay? And then you see this come up. And your brush will show kind of a preview of what that's going to look like on your model. So let me just zoom in really close here, pan down a little bit, And let's see, get this placed right, maybe about right here. Okay, so then I'll just brush that on. And you see it, put that onto the actual model. Now this is a not, not a high resolution image. So it does it look a little pixelated on there. So if I wanted a higher resolution image, we do that. Okay, so now I go turn off, just clear that out. And go back to my normal paintbrush. And we can see what that looks like on the model. There we go. So it's really very simple. The things to keep in mind, uh, it does matter how you have your camera positioned and in the, the angle that you're painting at. Because if we tried to, let's say, apply that on the edge over here while we're looking at it straight on, it would actually stretch that projection as we painted it on. So be careful about that to only project kind of straight at your object. And that's it. Very easy to apply an image onto your model with the projection brush right here. All right. Thank you for watching.